I'm JP Sando. I help run the Madcap Motel. Well, I discovered it many years ago, and through that I decided to build a motel here to kind of capture it all in the middle and have guests come in. And through this mailbox that you see here, I've actually sent out postcards to, to many distant relatives and friends and even strangers throughout time to, to come and, and enjoy the nonsense that is the Madcap. Well, it's a gateway into another dimension, a, a special place where, where up is down, down is up, time is just a construct. You know, it could be 10 minutes, it could be an hour. But here you can find rooms that are, that are filled with water, that are slanted, uh, that are just the sky, you know? Yeah, actually, we were set to open on Friday the 13th of March 2020. Um, <laughs> we were kind of just told we can't have large event gatherings in Los Angeles. And, you know, we were told that for... 13 months, 14 months, and so since we got the word that we could open, uh, you know, we just kind of called, called a meeting and said, let's go for it. See if LA is ready for a fun and weird escape from reality. The last three weekends, I can say, uh, you know, a lot of people are hopeful that LA, like the LA art scene is going to come back even bigger than it was in, you know, 2019. So guests check into a 1960s motel and they enter the lobby and there they are greeted by, um, you know, our first uh, actor who is like our lobby attendant just checking in with you on your travels, where you've been, how you heard about the motel. And then um, the onboarding process begins and you enter the first room, which is 433, which is where J.P. Sando uh, discovered the portal to elsewhere and um, you have a you know fun little onboarding experience with an actor in there I don't want to give too much away and then you um, you go to JP's lab and that's where he's like been studying the effects of elsewhere and what elsewhere is and then all of a sudden you're whisked off through a wormhole uh, into a motel courtyard and you are you know you're kind of thrown back into time um, and then in that hazy, overgrown courtyard. Uh, there's a series of about uh, eight to ten different motel doors and those lead to weird and wacky designed rooms and um, and then there's more beyond that and the back hallway that connects it all and it's really about not knowing what is behind every motel door and escaping the reality of it all.